Hello everyone. I hope you had a fantastic fourth. I had a barbecue at my daughter's home with her family and uh, couldn't stay long because my boys are afraid of the fireworks, which isn't surprising, but uh, the bigger one, my Harlequin, he is terrified of just about everything but fireworks in particular so um i had to get home to be with them and then spend the evening trying to keep the monster noises at bay so with the tvs turned on and to rock and roll and volume turned way up and we made it through. I uh, was getting ready to package up my most recent swap. Um, this is the Christmas in July swap on the uh, Facebook group Crafty Crafts by Dina swaps and things. And uh, so I figured quickly as I'm getting ready to package this up and get it out in the mail today I would uh, go through the things that I made um, of course I made these flowers embellishments um, that are they're just um, some plaid ribbon and uh, button and a bow and then I made a couple different cards um, I made this one this is you know I'm just playing in the center this one is from a kit that I had gotten at a fundraiser for my great niece who passed away this past February. Um, and I hadn't, I hadn't put together the card, the, um, snowman that comes with it is not very appealing to me. So I stamped out this one, um, the stamp is from close to my heart. It's an old one. I don't know if it's still available. And the card kit was also a close to my heart card kit. So I made that card and the envelope matches. And I also made this card. This is a box pop. A little penguin and he's fishing so you know it's got a bobbly head um, stands up it's makes a little box type deal but it also folds flat to fit in the envelope And uh, these box pops are made by Hunky Dory. And uh, so then in this homemade box is. Oh, I already put the shreds in there. Um, this is an origami fold. Uh, I forget the name of it. I'll put it in the description box below. Um, it's an ornament. 
and each one of these flowers in the ornament um, is made from a three by three piece of card. Um, if you do make one of these, I recommend not to use cardstock because um, the fold is, it's not a difficult fold, but you get it pretty small and uh, it, it gets pretty difficult um, after the first couple folds. Now I um, I use both a green paper and a red paper and then uh, after I got each flower put together I dipped it I, I used um, Maj Podge around the edges and then dipped it in gold superfine glitter and then uh, after I got everything assembled and glued together and dry. Then I also did a spray Maj Paj on it to keep most of the glitter in place. It, some does come off, but for the most part, it's held in place. And uh, it's a, a cute little ornament. It's not very light, but it's cute. I enjoyed making it. Then I made this, it's a star album, and uh, I made this larger than most of the, um, <coughs> excuse me, most of the tutorials that I saw um, because I wanted um, my swap partner to be able to put uh, close to a three by three and a half by five inch picture in it or smaller instead of just tiny pictures and I tried to put the album together kind of in a an order now I did it is held closed with a magnet and it's held open with magnets I had to put one in the center f for it to be held closed and then there's one on each um, outside page or the binding or not binding the cover front and back um, so that when it's open it'll stay open instead of having to use ribbon or anything like that I did use ribbon on the back here just for extra stability you don't have to but I did um, anyway the album opens up and I just kind of started with a generic couple of uh, um, ephemera pieces from the um, kit the made with the 12 days of Christmas paper crafting kit from the paper studio anyway um, so I started with the ice skating boy and the ribbon and then trim the tree so I'll put a little pine tree and each one of these is a tuck um, well, any of the stickers like this one I backed them with uh, black cardstock so that um, I could use them as tuck spots and then we have a Christmas ball another each one of these are tuck spots also. And then those 
stickers, and then Santa's on his way, little reindeer. And then with this, what you do is it sits like this in a star pattern. So I thought that was really cute. So there's that. And then the main thing is this box, which contains um, six three by three note cards. And then there's nine different tags, gift tags, in two different sizes. And I tried to not over embellish to keep them flat. Um, and then my swap partner can embellish them more as she would wish. This is a set that I got, oh, I don't know, a few years ago now, a couple years ago, um, by Craftwork Cards. And then I just backed um, these pieces here with Craft, and uh, my swap partner can do... Um, as she likes with them, um, whether she wants to make tags or use them in another way. And then I made six A2 cards. Um, gonna have to untie it and matching envelopes so, and I did uh, put sentiments in these this one's special wishes and it says may your Christmas be warm with love blessed with joy and bright with promise. And this one, let it snow. Wishing you a wonderful Christmas. And it just says Noel. And this one just has the tree on the front. Is wishing you the merriest Christmas. This one with the little dimensional poinsettia to someone special. It's Christmas joy. I kind of turned these different ways to try and help um, with keeping them even in the box and also to help stop them from getting crushed. This one also says Noel and Season's Greetings. And then this one also says Wishing You the Merriest Christmas. So there you have it, guys. That is my swap, excluding the um, extra goodies that I'm putting in. Oh, and I also included some of the 
poinsettias that I formed and decided <laughs> to minimize the height and then some of the um, ephemera that came with the collection so that my swap partner has things to um, do extra embellishments or whatnot with. So, and I also made the box and set it up with dividers so that things would pretty much stay where they're at during shipping. So, 